Eddie Van Halen is one of the greatest guitar players in rock history. Some even say that he invented shred guitar as we know it today. So how can we steal some of his style for our own solo? In this video, I'll reveal his most unconventional yet genius soloing techniques. We'll learn how to get his speed and precision with practice systems that have worked for me, and will probably work for you too. And by studying his most iconic solos, we can steal not only his shred techniques, but his genius melodic phrasing too. As always, there will be tabs and diagrams to make everything as easy as possible. Did you ever hear Van Halen shredding like this? and think, dude, that's sick, I wanna play like that. Now he's obviously playing really, really fast, but there's actually a lot more going on here that makes his playing sound so mind-blowing. A typical pentatonic shred pattern might look like this. And if you wanted to put the blue note in there, it would go like this. But when I slowed down and listened to this shredding from Eruption and had a closer listen, I actually noticed something crazy. This is actually a repeating pattern of five notes with an open string like this. It goes pick, hammer, pull off, pull off, pick, pick. So he has this odd grouping of five with these different articulations with the open string and then these blues licks either side that just makes the whole thing sound incredible even if you slow it down. There's actually another pattern of five lower down that he plays afterwards which goes like this. He uses a bit of palm muting to make it more percussive. So he loves repeating patterns of five, but he'll often play them with note divisions of four or six. So then we get something called syncopation. If I play his repeating pattern of five or sixteenth notes, for example, it'll sound something like this. It just makes the repeating pattern sound a lot less predictable. This also happens to be a fantastic way to practice these patterns to really get it under our fingers. Speaking of which, let's do an exercise now to master what we've learned so far. note patterns are obviously face melting. But how does Eddie Van Halen take these lines which should sound extremely simple and make them sound absolutely insane? Take for example this legato run from Jump. In its most simple form, all this is, is each note is picked on a new string and we get this pattern of pick and two hammer-ons. And then we just extend through the strings doing that same thing. So why is it that when I play it like this, it just sounds like an exercise and kind of boring? Well, the reason is that it's too predictable. So how does Eddie Van Halen make this sound so insane? Well, he uses a few subtle tricks to do this. First of all, he's starting an eighth note after the start of the bar, or rather, he's starting on the and of one. The fancy name for this is rhythmic displacement, and it's actually a really good thing to try in your improvised solos. If you feel your lines are becoming predictable, always starting on the one could be the reason. Another thing is that there is a key change in the song right as the solo ends, which obviously we can't reproduce this for our own solos, but something to point out is that he doesn't actually resolve to the root, he resolves to the fifth. And not only that, he plays the fifth and does this little whittle to the sixth. So he has this at the end. So if I play the lick now and I resolve to the root, you'll see that it just sort of sounds corny. You know? And if I go up the octave, it's somehow even cheesier. But of course, that's not what he plays. He plays the fifth and the sixth, like this. 
and it's absolutely beautiful. And the other trick that he's using is that he's using a different rhythm. It does kind of have a free time feel to it. And there's an intuitive rhythm to the picked notes. So you could also notate the rhythm of the notes like this. Now let's practice some variations that work in any minor key so that we can steal this for our own playing. Now this next Eddie Van Halen technique is one of the most aggressive things that you can play in a solo. We hear this tremolo picking on the high E string in the climax to the Michael Jackson solo for Beat It. And also in Eruption here. But how do we learn to do this? In its most simple form, it's just alternate picking on the high E string like this. And then we're generally trying to go for about three picks per note like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then, and then speed that up. That said, there are some mistakes to avoid with this. We don't want to be muting the strings. Even though it's good practice for your technique to be able to mute the strings like this, that is really not the sound that we're going for here. And to get it to sound authentic to Eddie Van Halen's style, we really want to dig in as much as possible. And I find that even though I consider it bag technique generally, to lock the wrist and make all the motion come from the arm, like this. In the case of these Eddie Van Halen solos, if we want to get that sound, I find that this is more authentic to that sound. So I like to do it a little bit. I allow myself to do it a little bit for these lines. So when we look at the exercises now, we want to be as clean and clinical to the note divisions as we can, but just bear in mind that to be authentic to a sound, you really want to get used to the style of just picking as hard and as fast as you can, and then using your left hand to stay in time. With that said, let's work on some exercises now to get this tremolo technique mastered. Eddie Van Halen was so good that even the Wild Stallions wanted him on lead guitar. That is why we need Eddie Van Halen. But seriously, listen to what these other players say about him. Nothing as free sounding, effervescent and intense and expansive as Edward. There'll never be somebody like that again. All I heard was this like cascading flurry of notes and it was just mind blowing. I never heard anything like that before. <laughs> None of us are playing the way we'd play if it wasn't for Edward Van Halen, so. <laughs> he is the king, he will always be the king. Now it takes more than fast shredding for some of the greatest musicians on the planet to say things like this about you. So how else did Eddie Van Halen achieve his epic sound? Let's have a quick look at five more of his iconic sounds. Number one, artificial or pinch harmonics. If I play on fret seven and the G string here, I can play a harmonic which is exactly two octaves higher like this. And I achieve this by just catching the string where the pickups are with the fleshy part of my thumb as I pick. And I can change that note by adjusting where I'm catching the string with my thumb. This will take a lot of practice and it requires its own video to fully explain, but it's way too important to not mention here. Eddie likes to combine this with other techniques like this. So let's give that a practice. Number two, dive bombs. Dive bombs is just where you drop the note down with the whammy bar like this. And it works best on the E string. 
hold the G-string. And it will test the quality of your tremolo arm, whether you're going out of tune or not. So there's also a thing called natural harmonics, which is where you place the pad of your finger lightly over the top of the fret, usually on 12, 7, or 5, like this. You can also do dive bombs with those harmonics like this as well. So let's practice some of those dive bombs as well. Number three is the hammer bar lick. So to do the hammer bar lick, I'm gonna hammer onto seven on the G string. And then I'm going to drop the whammy bar a little and let it up really fast like this. Then I'm gonna pull off the five and then repeat. So I'm gonna go, that's one round and I just repeat that. So let's work on that now. Number four is the palm muted sweep. We hear this in the solo for jump, and he basically sweep picks a seventh arpeggio as part of a phrase, but he's palm muting all the notes. So it should sound like this. But you must palm mute the notes. That kind of, that is really what gives it the flavor. It doesn't matter if you play it slow or fast, but it's gotta be palm muted. So let's work on that. And then finally, I've got to talk about this lick in Eruption right here. And I feel like this is actually a tip of the hat to a kind of 1950s, almost Johnny B. Good style of soloing. Because if you listen, he's actually using a swing, and that's what gives the lick its flavor. It's the swing and the major and minor notes combined. It's not straight. Straight would be... It's actually swung. really is almost out of context, but with all the distortion so high on the neck. It's just pure genius. So let's now work on that. Now let's hear all of the shred techniques and all of the phrasing and melodic techniques combined into one final Eddie Van Halen style solo. Here we go. Guys, can I tell you something crazy? I created this entire video on Eddie Van Halen's shred technique without even talking about his most iconic one, which is his right hand tapping. And that's because I created this entire video here deep diving on just that technique. And it covers every tapping lick that I just played in that final solo. So click this video next to really master Eddie Van Halen's style. Excellent!